introduction to expert system. So, at first we are going to define what is an expert system. The system that uses human expertise to make complicated decisions simulates reasoning by applying knowledge and interfaces, uses experts knowledge as rule and data within the system. We know that this expert system can be of rule based expert system also. So, here the rules will be there which is having if then part and whenever the respective condition will be true then then part will be executed. Otherwise, it will represent its facts in the that means it will represent the data in the form of a fact. Models the problem solving ability of a human expertise. So, there are four components of an expert system. These components are knowledge base, reasoning or inference engine, user interface and explanation facility. So, here we are going to discuss each and every component separately now. So, at first we are going for this diagram. So, this is our interpreted inference engine, knowledge based rules, data based context set of facts. So, whenever we are having some facts which will be denoting data, we usually call it as a database and whenever we are having some rules containing if and then part, then we will be considering them as a knowledge base. With this knowledge base rules and database context set and interpreted inference engine with this whole this natural language interface will be interacting and with this the user will have its interface and also experts can interact with this expert system. So, this is the expert system structure. So, at first we are going to discuss the knowledge base represents all the data and information imputed by the experts in the field. So, this knowledge base will be actually representing the data and information which will be provided by the experts, stores the data as a set of rules that the system must follow to make decisions. So, that means it will store the data in the form of rules that the system must follow where we are supposed to take some decisions there. So, next part is our knowledge acquisition. So, here we have given this diagram to depict what is a knowledge acquisition and how this acquisition that is accumulation of knowledge will take place. So, here we are having component like expert system and here knowledge engineers and human expertise. Here this knowledge is having a bi-directional flow in between. So, this expert system will get the knowledge from knowledge engineer knowledge engineer can also access the information and knowledge from the expert system and there are the human expertise are there. So, they will be also interacting with this knowledge engineer module. Inference engine asks the user questions about what they are looking for. So, the goals will be taken, the queries will be taken, the queries will be accepted from the users and this particular inference engine will try to understand what is the requirement and what is the goal and query. Applies the knowledge and the rules held in the knowledge base. So, depending upon the query, depending upon the respective goal, the respective rules will get fired and triggered. Appropriately uses this information to arrive at a decision. So, ultimately it will give the gives the output and it arrives at a certain decision regarding the with respect to the given goal and the query. When having this user interface, so allows the expert system and the user to communicate. So, this user interface is that part with the help of which the user can interact with the expert system, finds out what it is that the system needs to answer and sends the user questions or answers and receive their response accordingly. This user interface must be very much user friendly. So, that user can put his or her queries, his or her requirements accordingly and also the outputs must be obtained in a very easily understandable way. So, that is why this user interface is playing a very vital role in our, in our expert system. So, in this session we have discussed what is an expert system and what are the different components of expert system. Thanks for watching this video.